Hi dear friends, welcome to Top Education. In this session, we will learn Retail Management First Chapter, Introduction to Retail Business. In this chapter, we have five topics named as functions of retailing or we can call as importance of retailing. Then we have types of retailing, wheel of retailing, retailer life cycle theory and factor influencing retail business in India. So let's begin with first topic, which are first, basically we have to know what is retailing. Retailing refers to buying and selling of goods in a smaller quantity, in a smaller size, everything place depends upon a smaller quant quality quantity only. Here, the capital to start the retail business is needed is small capital is more than enough. Let's begin with the functions of retailing. Understanding the needs of consumer. Here, first we have to need, uh, know the needs of the customer, what the customer is in need, like what we are using and technique to uh, sell the products. Understanding the needs of consumer. First, we have to understand the needs, like what a particular person needs. He needs a pencil, pen or anything else. Then buying and assembling. Buying and assembling refers to here, we have to buy and we have to assemble together. When de demand arises, we should be ready to supply those goods to the, our final consumer. Breaking the bulk. Here from wholesaler we purchase in bulk. Here we have to divide that bulk into a smaller quantity because a retailer refers to dividing the uh, like dividing the bulk quantity into smaller quantity and giving to final consumer is known as breaking the bulk. Warehousing and storehousing. In retailing, the demand arises few times. The demand arises, the demand decreases. So the storehousing and warehouse should be there for a retail business. Then only it will be helpful to a retail business. Then selling. Here retailer can use many type, types of uh, selling things like uh, he may take some uh, agents also, he may take some uh, sales promoters also. Selling means here the selling of goods to the ultimate consumer. Retailer is a person who is selling that product to the end user. Credit facility. Here the customer needs credit facility. This credit facility only increase. Uh, the capacity of the consumer to purchase more and more. If a retailer does not have credit facility, then that retail business will not exit, exist more than two, three years. Risk bearing. If, uh, in every business, we have certain type of risk and those risks are, it may be internal risk or external risk. It depends upon the business also. So this was the functions of retail business. Now let's learn types of retailing. Types of retailing, this may, this question may come for 14 marks. So here classification of retail format. Now which, which types of uh, retail shops are there? Let's know. Here there are two types of store based and non store based. Store based refers to there will be a particular place where consumer goes and purchase his products. Non store based retailing means selling goods and services through online electronic devices is known as non store based retailing. Forms of ownership. Now here retail based like retail also shops also are divided in two parts that is forms of ownership and merchandise offer forms of ownership means the business is on a particular person only a particular person is running that type of business whereas merchandise offer here more than two or three people come together and do the business so here let's learn first forms of ownership what are the forms of ownership first independent mom and pop shop here, these stores are open in every nook and corner of India because this type of, uh, like it may be a grocery shop, it may be a electronic shop, but it is, but it is carried out by an individual person, which is called mom or pop shop, independent. Then we have chain stores. Now, a particular shop has one more 
shop at another area that is known as chain stores franchise store franchise store here there will be a contract between franchisor and franchisee where franchisor will be able to run the business and a certain commission should be paid to franchisee then we have departmental or uh, we have something lease department here a particular like uh, a particular in malls you can see guys like uh, it a particular department is leased like some amount is to be paid by the seller to the departments then consumer cooperative consumer cooperative refers to here many cooperative people the, taking individual taking initiative and coming further and doing business is known as consumer cooperative next we have merchandising offer that is the second part of store based retailing here convenience stores convenience stores means where everything is available convenience everything is available supermarket here different departments are conductor and different department has different types of quality quantity also hypermarket hypermarket is the com combination of supermarket and dep departmental market specialty stores specialty stores refers to those stores which has special products in it okay and category killers category killers here refers to there are no competitor to them or we can say as uh, so here as i said there is no competitor to those like google search engine there is no competitor for that type of business organization departmental store as you all guys knows there are different departments in each store then uh, off price retailing factory outlet these are some uh, more example for merchandise offer but writing six point is more than enough then we have non store based retailing here direct selling direct selling refers to face to face contact where a uh, seller goes to a consumer's house and approaching him to buy that product mail order here through mails they are purchasing and selling the goods and services telemarketing as they are uh, home shop 18 shop cga or they are doing this telemarketing automated vending machine automated vending machine you can see on uh, european countries where a uh, coin is uh, drop into a machine and the product is available to the consumer worldwide web through internet everything is possible flipkart amazon all comes into this scenario next topic we have wheel of retailing so wheel of retailing here wheel of retailing refers to how the retailer business runs it runs in a circular manner there are three stages where it runs first is entry press trading up press and value neighborability press first entry in entry what they do they just charge low price low cost everything low but the quality will be perfect so customers attract to their stores then trading up here they will add up some cost which were incurred at last years like they will be covering their losses at now because customers are attract more and more so they will be regular to that store and they are recovering their loss by this valuability pass where the retailer store will be at the peak and all the customers are being attracted but at last what happened is the retailer business ends up with a few profit or something because of some management problem or because of some cash anything but retailer business can be established easily and it can be like uh, stopped easily but there should be a good relationship between customers so customers can be attracted as they can next topic we have retailer life cycle theory 
retailer life cycle theory means how the retailer starts ends everything as like wheel of retailer here we have innovation acceleration growth maturity decline as same and retailer wheel re wheel of retailer here what happens innovation new retailer comes in the market he start his business then accelerated growth his purchases sales increases because customers are attracted then maturity profit or profit sales all are in the top and then decline because of some reason or it may be the product have been lose its ability or some new competitor or some new retailer have been introduced his business in the market so it declines in market there is not like uh, everyone can be at one stage every times it may be decline it may be increase because market depends upon customers only what what is the customer reaction what is the customer need all depends upon him only next we have factor influencing indian retailer business now these are the factors which had influence or by these points only the retailer business is on the top most so increase in per capita income at olden days they were not having some more incomes but nowadays every person has 25k above salary so increase in per capita income and then needs also increases their demands also increases as like this demographic changes demographic changes means nowadays youth are in need of those products which give them satisfaction directly not indirectly they want the satisfaction immediately so that is an demographic changes and retailer gets it changes in consumption pattern as in olden days people were not consuming so many goods but nowadays a new phone is introduced the customer will be purchased because credit facility is available debit card credit card discounts and all so the customer will be attracted but the profit will be outmost availability of low cost consumer credit giving low cost consumer credit everyone will purchase nowadays every person has an iphone this is an example for low credit improvements of infrastructure like metros railways bus and all improvement in infrastructure leads to retailing because retailing is where the consumer comes and purchase the goods entry to the various sources of finance here fdi foreign direct investment and fii foreign institutional investment here what happens these like they are allowing the retailer to do business on foreign countries also so by this also it is influencing the retail business now these are some challenges in retailing which are facing like people are facing this challenges high cost for organized sector to organize it high cost sector specialization yes we need few specialization not more but selling techniques purchasing techniques how to control a customer also store it support that should be it support also from store poor infrastructure infrastructure of india as all you guys know lack of trained work force now we cannot give job to anyone because a person should be trained enough to face that customer so this were the challenges few challenges of retailing so guys this was your first chapter introduction to retailer business thank you guys if you like then please subscribe our channel top education